This morning, you are going to meet one of your closest relatives. Many students going into colleges and universities assume that teachers are up there lecturing and just telling them the facts of a discipline. The teacher has a perspective. Everybody has a worldview. When you have a college that advertises its mission statement with Christian values in it, the last thing you expect to hear in a classroom is if you believe in the inerrancy of scripture, you are ignorant. Our teacher said that he believed in evolution, creationism was stupid. More than half of all college professors say that they regard the Bible as fables and legends. Like shattered the foundation that I had been taught. Between right and wrong. A lot of Christian uh, kids really have a lot of those inner doubts about the fundamental issues. Is there a God or is there no God? How did I get here? The problem of evil. What is the thing from which everything else came? Could you not do this assignment because you're a Christian? Do you think that you're a sinner? What about homosexuals? Do they sin? Why can't you advocate for them? Tough questions. And so I found myself debating in my head, you know, what to believe. Completely doubted everything I was taught. People just want to party. Alcohol. Drugs. Have another beer. See if you can take that girl home. I got really depressed and lonely. Fights. And the scariest thing was waking up the next morning and not remembering about 11 hours of my life. Yeah, in college you hear the words experts and facts thrown around all the time. These experts can be as biased as anyone else and oftentimes wrong. In the 1970s, there was a big scare about global cooling. It will be prudent to suppose that the next ice age could begin to bite at any time. Doctors in every branch of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? The brand named most was Camel. But you've got to be willing to look at the evidence for yourself. You've got to be willing to question. In a world ruled by people who don't value the values that your mother valued. We're going to talk about how we determine the difference between right and wrong. Can you make that determination, Mr. J? One man was ready for them. Well, you could refer to teachings such as the Ten Commandments. You don't propose that it'd be right for you to impose your religion on someone else, do you? Jay was not that man. Based on actual events. Yeah, not being prepared, wouldn't recommend it.